My name is Sam Taylor. I'm the managing attorney of the uh, asbestos section here at the Lanier Law Firm in Houston, in the Houston office. And 100% uh, of our time and resources is spent uh, representing clients who have uh, mesothelioma from asbestos exposure. I'm Darren Berquist. I am the managing attorney of the asbestos department in the New York office of the Lanier Law Firm. Um, work with a group of lawyers and, and professional staff whose um, time is dedicated to representing people uh, who suffer from asbestos-related diseases. The question of when a person should contact a lawyer uh, following a mesothelioma um, diagnosis is an important one. Uh, number one, the statute of limitations in different states uh, can serve to bar a claim if it's not brought timely. And that statute of limitations can vary from state to state, and it can be as short as one year. The second reason is it's very important uh, when, the, when the diagnosis occurs and the, and the person contacts us, an extensive evaluation and, and investigation of the exposure history needs to take place as soon as possible to have the best chance of figuring out how a person was exposed to asbestos going back 20, 30, or 40 years ago. Mesothelioma cases bring with them unique challenges that we at the Linear Law Firm are ready to tackle and handle. It is important when a client comes to us, it's important to us that they know and they feel that we have the experience in handling these cases. When a person is diagnosed with mesothelioma, they consult an oncologist or someone with experience in mesothelioma. They do not go talk to a brain surgeon or an orthopedic surgeon. Similarly, I think it's important for the person with mesothelioma to seek out attorneys that are qualified and experienced in handling mesothelioma cases.